Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous tutorial in Silhouette Studio. Now, if you enjoy learning about Silhouette Studio, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you're always notified of our latest and greatest. But today guys, we are going to cover using fonts with glyphs in Silhouette Studio. All right guys, so here we are. I'm on the Creative Fabrica website and I wanted to go ahead and we're gonna do this video from start to finish all the way from installing a font to using it in Silhouette Studio and then showing you how to access the glyphs in two different ways, okay? Because one requires an upgrade, one can be done on any PC. So this one in particular, I wanted to show you because when I'm talking about fonts with glyphs, we're looking at these extra characters, usually on the ends, on the beginnings, and sometimes even in the middle to connect. And this is just a really cute font that has those glyphs. And you know, there are always a lot of questions on how to actually use those and you know how to really get the full potential of that font when you see them in these previews. So that's what we're here to tell you today. Let's go ahead and download to our computer. Now I am on a Windows PC. So if you're on a Mac, then this may be a little bit different. You're going to want to install this through your font book, okay? But for PC users, you can just follow along. I downloaded it. Now what I like to do is go ahead and use the OTF, okay? And we're going to go ahead and extract all because we can't really use this the way that I want to show you how to use it until we extract it. So let's go to downloads, our main downloads folder. Here's our unzipped folder. So we will double click and open that up. Here's that OTF for both the sans and I assume that's gonna be for the script. What I'm going to do is right click and use install for all users. And the same for the SANS, we're gonna right click and install for all users. Now, if you happen to be in Silhouette Studio or in Craig Design Space, you're going to want to close that program. So what I'm going to do is just right click and close window. I don't need to save anything, it was just basic. And then I will just restart it. that simple. And what that's going to do is, uh, as the software is restarting, it's going to look for and import any new fonts that you have installed on your computer. So literally that is the basis of installing and that will work for any font. You know, the font duo is great. The fact that it has glyphs is great, but that's how easy it is to install any font on your computer. So let's go ahead and let that software open. And then we will take a look at what it looks like to use this type of font in Silhouette Studio. All right, so here we are. Silhouette Studio has opened right back up. And what we wanna do is I'm gonna come over here to the right hand side and I like to go ahead and check for the new font that I'm looking for. I'm just gonna type in love and twist and it should come right down here to the bottom. And I have love twist script and love twist sans. All right, so what I can do is come over here to the left hand side, create a new text. And because I've already selected that font, there we go. That is going to be our cute and easy script font. Now let's go ahead and talk about glyphs, okay? We're gonna type Creative Fabrica. There we go, nice, large, and in charge. Just to make it easier, I'm going to fill with black and get rid of our line color. That gives you a better preview, okay? Now, the easy way is to use the Glyphs panel right here in Silhouette Studio, and that is for any Silhouette Studio user who has upgraded to at least the Designer Edition upgrade, okay? You know, there are several upgrades. There's Designer Edition, Designer Edition Plus, and Business Edition. So if you don't see the Glyphs panel, it means that you have not upgraded to one of those or for whatever reason, your upgrade is not currently active on your software, okay? So what we have right here is our Glyphs panel. This is right here in the text style panel. And when you click on it, you will not only see all of the regular characters, the regular letters, 
But usually if you scroll down to the bottom, that's where you're going to unlock your special use characters, which will usually be your um, your leading and, I don't want to call it exiting, but the beginning and the end glyphs that we talked about, as well as any of them that are in the middle. And that's usually where I start. I scroll all the way down, and then I'll start scrolling back up and see what I can find. Now, sometimes the glyphs are actually connected to the letters, and sometimes the glyphs are separate. They're just programmed in a way that they connect seamlessly to the letters themselves, which is, looks like what we have here. So what I'll be able to do, let's make it just a tad smaller. I'm going to double click. Now, it's important to notate that this has not been ungrouped. It has not been welded. Okay, it has to remain in this editing editable format. And I can then click on the end and it adds that little swirl. Okay, now I can do the same here in the front, but it's gonna look a little different. It just connects here in the middle of the C. Now, if that were a lower case, it looks more seamless. So completely up to you, whichever way you like. Let's scroll up a little bit more. Here's that, we'll call it a the regular little line that we saw from the beginning. So there's two great ways to integrate that into your font. There we go. Now, again, we're gonna make it just a little smaller and we're gonna look for those middle connecting pieces. So let's scroll up a little more. I actually think yeah, here's one right here. So here's that cute flower one. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to delete that space leading up. And really, a lot of glyphs are intended for um, using with the lowercase. There we go. And see how seamless that looks? It really looks good. This is a really cute font with really cute glyphs. If I want to replace it, I can just backspace. I just treat it like a regular character and I can add the little um, heart with the arrow in there. So really, really cute. This type of font or, you know, glyph font is common when you're creating like anniversary gifts or wedding gifts or just couples gifts where you're going to connect two names. Um, I use it a lot for my children as well where I can connect their names. So completely up to you what you use it for. But that's how easy it is to use the glyph panel. And I'm not going to lie, if you really like using glyphs, I think this panel is worth it just to be able to use that upgraded feature. Now, don't worry. If you do not have the glyph panel, there is still something that you can do on a Windows PC. It's called a character map. There we go. And it's a little bit of a workaround here. We're just going to cover up that glyphs panel. Just pretend like it's not there. And we're going to look for our love twist font. So scroll up. There we go. And here you can see the glyphs that we were using. Now you can scroll down and gain access to a lot of other characters um, and glyphs that are built in. One way to... Um, a lot of times, if they are built in, you can come down here to group by and go to the sub range and go to private use characters. And a lot of times that will unlock and take you straight to the glyphs. Um, but these glyphs in particular were built in um, to the actual font itself. So you'll find them right here in with your letters. Let's find you a good example um, as a matter of fact, that one that we had, the Samantha font, which is kind of, um, we're going to say that's kind of the font that started it all. Let's see, Samantha Upright. Go to the subrange, go to private use characters, and you'll see that these are all the glyphs that are included in the Samantha font. There are tons of them. Okay, so in the same thread, let's find the C's. Let's see, here we go. So we will click on it. All right, you get a little tiny preview. And that's why these are hard to use, okay? You don't get a large preview of the font or the letter that you're working with, the character. But what I can do is hit select and it's gonna add it right here, okay? So we gotta see, let's, what else can we find? 
I mean, the Samantha font, you know, I love this one that we use for the example, but the Samantha font is really an outstanding font. It's really great for weddings and gifts. All right, I was looking for my lowercase e's because I know that creative obviously starts with a C and ends with an E. So let's grab this one here. We're just going to hit select and see how it's going to keep building those there. And then I want an F. And then I need a lowercase a. And I've selected these completely at random, so we'll have to see how they work. So those are the characters I want to use. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to come back over here into Silhouette Studio. I'm going to start a new text box, and I'm just going to use Control V. That's going to paste those in there. Now, don't worry. I know you're like, Becky, you just pasted a bunch of boxes in there. That is because we don't have the Samantha font selected. So what I need to do is come back into my textile panel. We can just type in, there's a Samantha Italic, here's Samantha Upright. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll take those glyphs and I'll double click and I'll fill in the rest. So C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E, -E F-A-B-R-I-C-A. Now, obviously, it gives a lot of space in between. That is because some of the glyphs really need that much room. They have gorgeous glyphs. So let's just scooch it together with our line spacing. And that is how you use the character map to grab some cute and easy glyphs for your fonts. So what do you guys think? I think obviously, you know, glyphs are a very creative use of your fonts. There's really a lot that you can do with them, especially like with this love twist when it comes with, you know, a paired font. So let's go ahead and look at that. Let me give you guys an example. I will move these down and I'm going to type out Becky and Doug. That is my husband's name. I'm just going to grab the font and the color. Let's head on over to our glyphs. You know, it should probably be Doug, Becky, if we're doing it in a traditional way. I'm going to use the heart. And then I'm going to come down and use the little swirly design here. Okay, so I need to size these down a little bit so they'll fit all in one text box and then I can enlarge it again. There we go, Doug and Becky. Now let's just go ahead and weld that together. We're gonna grab a new text box. Now I did use um, all caps, and I'm gonna grab this Love Twist Sands, and we will use, well, maybe not a super light. Let's use mint, I like mint. And I'm going to move, you know, send it back. And you can slide it right underneath the names. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the benefit of using a font duo. You get really cute fonts that look amazing together. It's almost as if they were designed that way. <laughs> because they were, naturally. So... You know, I think that that is a really cute use of glyphed fonts, but of course you can use them however you see fit. And I think we have some really solid examples of how to use these in Silhouette Studio, and hopefully you guys will give them a try for yourself. So guys, how did you feel about learning to use fonts with glyphs in Silhouette Studio? Now, Silhouette Studio is such a versatile program, and I really love that they have the built-in glyph panel, but, you know, don't let that deter you. If you haven't upgraded yet, that's okay. You can still use that character map and get the same effects. But these glyph fonts are really, really neat, and they add a lot to your crafting. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to help you when I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos in the future. But for today, guys, I am going to wrap it up. I appreciate you and we will see you again next time.